So February 13th marks the anniversary of the release of the debut album, the self-titled debut album of Black Sabbath. And probably the most ominous track on that album out of the nine songs, the 39 minutes worth of songs, is Black Sabbath. <laughs> and so I just wanted to make a video kind of celebrating that anniversary. It was actually Friday the 13th, 1970, 50 years ago that they released that album. And that album, for me, I, I personally, I know that uh, from testimonies and interviews from uh, the bands that I grew up with, the metal bands, whether it be Judas Priest, Slayer, Metallica, uh, Exodus, uh, even the newer ones of In Sevenfold, uh, Children of Bodom, they will all reference Black Sabbath as being a major, major influence in the direction they took with their own music. And so for me, you know, hearing the stories of Tony Iommi losing his fingertips in a factory accident and then make it so determined to play guitar that he made it, basically homemade prosthetics out of plastic bottle caps <laughs> so that he could play. You know, he played with Jethro Tull and they had a, a band called Earth. And when the four of, the, of them got together, Tony Iommi, Ozzy Osbourne, Geezer Butler, and Bill Ward in Birmingham, England, in that, that industrial environment. You know, they, they got together, shared their ideas and focuses and misgivings about the current music, the, the current environment. And in that environment, magic happened. And they essentially created heavy metal. And a lot of people will say, well, there was Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, so on and so forth. But, you know, I've never, I love Led Zeppelin, don't get me wrong, but I've never considered them heavy metal. I've always considered Led, Ze Led Zeppelin a rock band, a rock and roll band, you know, and that's, that's what they are to me. But Black Sabbath, they touch something within me. And as a 13-year-old kid in my bedroom in 1983, Picking up the guitar for the first time, first thing I learned, very first thing I learned, is Iron Man. And you know, and that just evokes such imagery in my psyche, in my 13-year-old psyche, of what that could possibly, that song could possibly be about. But the riffs, the many, many riffs in the Black Sabbath song in their live, in their catalog, simple, simple riffs, riffs, but extremely powerful and making use of that that flat fifth, you know, that tritone, if you will, the, the devil's note, as they say. <laughs> but it's just, it, it touches something and, it's, and it opens up in your imagination the possibilities that as simple as something may be, it can be profound and powerful and life altering. And they made me fall in love with heavy music because in my hometown where I grew up in Texas, uh, you know, people, if you had long hair or you wore black t-shirts or you listened to that type of music, you weren't looked on too kindly. You got to be listening to country music, be wearing Wranglers and have a, stet a straw Stetson cowboy hat on. But Black Sabbath gave me the, gave me permission to be who I wanted to be, to know that there was power in music and that it wasn't just something to tap your toes to, but it was something that would give you direction and meaning in life. Black Sabbath really has helped me in many ways to, to say, you know what, I'm going to try. I'm going to pick up that guitar. I'm going to express myself with it. Even if it's one power chord, I'm going to do it. That's what Black Sabbath did. And uh, 50 years, wow, <laughs> the influence they've had. And uh, I'm just thankful for them. I really am. And you know, it's funny, they recorded that album, that first, that debut album, in 12 hours. 12 hours they invested in that studio, but they changed the world. <laughs> that shows you what the power of just determination and just raw, aggressive guitar can do. Of course, the, the iconic vocals of the Prince of Darkness himself, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> But, you know, that's what Black Sabbath represents to me, is possibilities. Anyways, that's my celebration of the anniversary of the release of 
Black Sabbath's debut album, Black Sabbath. Exactly 15 years ago. February 3rd.